At a Senate hearing on biotechnology, Senator Kim of New Jersey questioned a panel of experts on whether the United States still leads in the field. And as China gains ground, what steps America must take to stay ahead? Watch the exchange unfold right here. So right now, you can say definitively we are the, we are in the lead leading today. country. What about in 10 to 20 years from now? Can you make that same definitive statement? No, not at all. In fact, it's a lot sooner than that. If you look at the National Security Commission report on emerging biotechnology, they have 49 recommendations to strengthen, maintain, and advance our lead in biotechnology. But we need to act boldly and we need to act today. Uh, we believe within two to three years, we can lose this. To give you some perspective, 10 years ago, about 2% of the innovative medicines being developed in the world came from China. A decade later now, it's about 25%. Mr. Schiller, I mean, what we just heard from Mr. Crowley saying, even within two to three years that we could be losing our competitive edge here. I, I really think that the, the, the key here is not just what are the steps that are going to move us forward, but for us as a committee and as a country to embrace the urgency of this moment. I guess I want to ask you, are we operating with the level of urgency as a nation, as a government, as an industry that we should be at this point? Senator, thank you. I, I don't think we are. And I think there's more we can be doing to uh, try to ensure that the regulatory system, the ecosystem, allows for uh, faster trials getting off the ground in the United States so that less of that research is moving out to other countries. Mr. McHauer, you, you, know, you talked about, Dr. McHauer, you talked about this in terms of the challenges that we're facing, whether it's about reviewers and turnover on that front uh, or just resources writ large. Uh, I guess I want to ask you in terms of the FDA, does the FDA have the resources and the staffing needed right now to be able to meet this urgency that we've been talking about in terms of our global lead on biotech? Thank you for the, the question, Senator. <clears throat> We could do much better. Um, we absolutely should be refilling vacancies one-to-one. -one. Um, we absolutely need to deploy the latest technologies in, re in, in reviews. Um, most importantly, to be competitive, we need to reinforce and deeply invest in our US scientific and clinical infrastructure. Uh, that, science, that science has propelled innovation in this country and it's absolutely important. We also need to support intellectual property and stand behind our US innovations and fight infringing entities um, who are coming mostly from China that are utilizing our intellectual property. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips. And thanks for watching.